Welcome back to you my YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you can get notifications for my next video. Today we are reacting to Best Dressed Engine, Season 7, Episode 22, UK, Michael Angelus Edition. I loved Michael Angelus. He, he was a great narrator for Thomas and Friends. Anyways, um, I do not own Thomas and Friends, and let's go, 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 go! It was me, and the engines were celebrating. Celebrate good times, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! They knew there'd be music and lots of fun. The station was being decorated. The fat controller said that the engines could be too. I'm going to have flags and streamers, whistled Percy. Ooh. I'm going to have a big red banner, whistled Thomas. Ooh. What decorations will you have, Gordon? Asked Mo. I got the... <laughs> decorations aren't dignified for an important engine like me. I pull the express. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Gordon was feeling insulted. All right, sorry guys, I'm just checking something real quick. <laughs> Henry! Woo! He grunted. Just checking Thomas on was my orders. Himself. He was bringing the maple. The farmer's children waved, and Thomas peeped happily as he passed by. Soon it I get was time to get this. for the decorating. Woohoo! Percy's driver was Ooh! wrapping streamers and flags Look around at his him! Farm. Thomas had a big red banner on his tanks. Woo! And Murdoch was being decorated, although he was very shy about it. We could have a competition for the best dressed engine, suggested James. No way! Just then, Gordon shunted in. A competition? He puffed. I'm bound to win any competition. You'll have to be decorated, said James. This is the best dressed engine competition. Not me, puffed Gordon. You never catch me looking so ridiculous. The engines felt splendid. Of course they did. I like the banner on Thomas. But not Gordon. He was cross. Decorations aren't dignified. Huh. Who cares about a competition anyway? You should. Further down his line, a colorful banner was strung across the bridge. Then, as Gordon steamed across, the bridge uh, came uh, loose and wrapped around his firebox. Oh no! The line ahead. This is not the banner off, but the banner wouldn't budge. Sorry, I don't know why it's doing this. He whistled loudly to his driver. Stop! You can't stop, Gordon, his driver called back. You're the express. Well, what does he do? <laughs> Trevor the traction engine was chugging slowly uh -oh. his load of apples for the children's apple bob. Trevor heard a whistle. He was going as fast as he could, but it wasn't fast enough. The apples were all smashed. James was the last engine to join the competition, or so he thought. Here comes Gordon! cried the passengers. Poor Gordon. We didn't think you wanted to be decorated, teased Thomas. I didn't, puffed Gordon. Well, he's definitely the best dressed engine, said James. All the engines agreed. Gordon was secretly pleased. <laughs> Say so. Silly Gordon. 
Uh, I agree, silly Gordon. It doesn't matter. You should be happy he had fun and that he won. That's what's that's important. Uh, but anyways, it's just about having a good time. Anyways, um, that's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Um, this is K Bear One Hundred One signing out. Adios, everybody.